Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how to complete the Lakeside Crystal Cave and make sure that you don't miss out on anything. We are starting at the Scenic Isle Race in Lurinia and we are going this way. When you are in, grab the Lost Grace and open the chest to get some loot. Get the one man key in front of you and you can go to the left first to clear this small space here. Now you can see me crouching and looking around, this is mostly because it is quite easy for the enemies to hear you here and attack out of nowhere. So, after getting the moss, stick to the left side and clear out this camp of three enemies, but beware, because more guys from the bottom might notice and attack you. Now you can grab the loot, go down and there will be one more big guy here. Before going down the big hole in the middle, you can take this path. Now you can start by sneaking in this bush on the left and getting the one guy, hopefully before the big one notices you. When you defeat the big one, be aware that there is one more enemy in the room on the right. Now you can safely grab all the crafting materials and open a chest that contains a pretty cool talisman. Now we can go back and start going down the big gap. this room there will be three crystal snails, so just get them one by one. Then grab the item and go on. Now this item is actually surrounded by a group of snails, but I won't be attacking them here as I don't see the reason to. So I'll just grab the item, show you how it looks and run on. Now you can jump down, grab 3 more items and move on to the boss fight, running past 3 more snails. This boss is quite hard, but also has a quite standard moveset for a Dark Souls enemy. 
Nevertheless, definitely took me a couple of tries to get him, and the reward is a talisman that boosts your focus points. But that is not the end of the dungeon just yet, as now you can go a bit further and meet with a certain NPC. Fell tarnished. What do you want? I told the all hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? Or do you speak true? So old Albus entrusted his medallion to you. Then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena. An Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I presume the worst, seeing that you're another tarnished like that all-hearing brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off in your hands anyway. Would you consider doing me a great service? I must go back. There is something I must do, even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Lobo. Will you show me the way? To the land of Mikola's Halig Tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallion's other half. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the Forbidden Lands, north of the Earth Tree, in Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the Giants, accessible by the Grand Lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's time. Farewell, Lobo. My faithful wolf, my better half, I will go with the tarnished, so that our journey will not have been in vain. Forgive me, Lobo. After finishing the dialogue, you get her ashes. Now you can grab the grace, the item that is behind it, and the two final pieces of loot that are to the right of the place when you exited the cave. And that is it for the video, please let me know if it was helpful in the comments below and subscribe if you are interested in Elden Ring guides and other types of Elden Ring content. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.